That is an awesome fish, bud. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> Our day started out, we left Sandusky, Ohio, and headed to Solon, Iowa. And I have to preface the weather. As we moved west, basically when we got outside of Chicago heading west, the weather started changing, and you could see it. We ran into some rain here and there, but nothing too bad, and then I started getting alerts on my phone about severe weather, which prompted me to then look at you know some weather maps and and there was vicious activity to the west i didn't really know how bad at the time but about an hour west of our destination in solon iowa a few towns got just ravaged uh, marshalltown pella bondurant and you know several people were injured uh, the weather channel confirmed 12 tornadoes in that area and if you looked up in the sky, you know, you would think that a tornado could pop up at any time where we were. You know, thankfully nobody got killed to the best of my knowledge. We made it to Solon, Iowa, no issues. Um, and at that point we were roughly around 7,000 miles since leaving Tucson to New York and back. That's when I had my only bout of trouble. A little dirt road in Solon, Iowa kicked my ass. So, at any rate, uh, we'll carry on and, and you can watch and see how that went down. While I was in Solon, Iowa, we were able to fish uh, a little lake in Uncle Gene's neighborhood called Lake McBride. Uh, it was very windy, so we just kind of putted around. Uh, you're not really supposed to use your motor out there, but honestly, my trolling motor wasn't having it. And we floated down the lake a pretty good distance, so I did have to... Uh, put it in idle and put back and you know you got to do what you got to do sometimes we enjoyed some Americana uh, in downtown Solon we uh, witnessed what was called beef days and I'll tell you if you haven't done beef days I highly recommend it it was a first for for Drake and I to see a hay bale toss that was comprised of a bunch of giant dudes and some chicks uh, I believe the winners, or you know, the finalists were all guys from Iowa Hawkeye football team. Go figure. These dudes, though, were throwing hay bales 13 feet in the air. And, uh, you know, if you're into that, check out Soul and Beef Days. But uh, after that, they had an Eagles cover band that played one song, and it started, the sky opened up, and it just rained holy hell on that place. And the band shut her down. So everybody kind of split. We, w we made our way back to Gene's house and basically got ready to leave uh, to head to Blue Springs, Missouri uh, the following day. Our time in Solon, Iowa was interesting. Uh, neat little town. Met some awesome people and uh, had a good time. My first mistake was not seeing the uh, detour sign as I was cruising through downtown Solon, Iowa. So I gotta place some blame on Google Maps. After realizing that I couldn't turn left where Google Maps told me to on Main Street because they had it blocked off for the beef days, it had me continue on north and turn left. My second mistake was not paying attention to the big yellow sign to the right of me as I turned down the dirt road that Google Maps had told me to, to take. Apparently it's a level B maintenance road. Who knew? Uh, I, I guess if you're from that part of the country, you would know that if it's muddy and wet, you don't do the level B. Out of town or dumbass, I guess. As I traveled down the road, I got about a quarter mile down and I realized that we were gonna have a problem. And this happened. Not to be. I, Google Maps didn't warn me that it was a level B maintenance road so when it rained it was absolutely treacherous and you know two three inches of fresh mud on, on that dirt road was enough to cripple my car put us in a bad spot and it looks like the storm is coming 
make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah. I like this. <laughs> What's the worst that's going to happen? He's going to fall off into the mud and then yeah. he's going to get your garden. No, then we just run in the back of the truck. Here we go. <laughs> this is called getting stuck in the mud. Eventually we got uh, everything handled and taken care of. It took about 45 minutes, but uh, I don't know if AAA would have come and saved me from that stupidity. Thanks Uncle Gene for getting us out. Uh, Drake had a great time. He thought it was hilarious. Uh, I was a little stressed out. There was a ton of bad weather, you know, circling the area and it just, it was, we weren't in a good spot for that to happen and there was nowhere to turn around. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.